He's 59 years old and 34 years into his second career, serving as sergeant at arms at his sixth Senate president at the state capitol. His first career, 1966 to 1976, he claims over 70 professional fights and two world titles. Officially, though, in the record books, his record is 56, 6, and 6 with 31 knockouts. And twice, he was junior lightweight world champion. And he's still involved in boxing. Jemai Webster on Ben Villaflor, our Hawaii MVP this week. That was Ben back in the day. But there is someone who has been a friend to all of us, a hero to the Filipino community, the former junior lightweight champion of the world, Ben Villaflor. This is Ben now. Nobody in the history of Hawaii has been sergeant at arms longer than he has. Looks like you found life after boxing. That's right, yeah. I didn't thought that I would stay this long. <laughs> and I thought it would be about three or four years, but I'm just blessed that, you know, all the president likes me, so I'm pretty lucky. He's got the best of both worlds on the job. After work, the champ still teaches boxing in a room that's usually used to hold hearings. That's still, still, all. I mean, you know, uh, you, don't, you don't forget. Okay, what do you do? When he steps away from his day job, you can find him right here in room 16 twice a week teaching boxing for free. Let's go, Ben. In the Senate, we have this program that some people walk, some people you know, exercise, do yoga, and I say, look, let me teach some boxing for cardio. See all this tape right here? This means that I'm working hard. In his prime, it was all about punching power and his killer left. Trust me, he still got it. Villaflor wore the belt for the first time in 1972, when he was 19. And at the time, the youngest world champ ever in boxing. It's a tough business, you know. You get pounded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lucky that I'm still able to talk to you like this. <laughs> 72, 75 fights. A boxer, yes, uh, heart, dedication, and sacrifice. Ben moved to Hawaii from the Philippines at age 16, one of 12 children in his family, and a pro in the sweet science since he was 13. When I was working, I, I earned, what, $1 a day. When I fought, I made $7. So I said, hey, this is the best. I mean, this is the, uh, you know, better way to earn money. <sighs> okay, next. Staying involved in a sport, he says. 10 seconds. Rescued him from poverty. That's his way of giving back. Boxing is, it's my passion. I mean, you know, without boxing, I wouldn't be here. Champion of the world. Despite retiring at 23, he's ranked ninth on Ring Magazine's all-time top 10 list of Filipino fighters. And that fraternity's huge in Hawaii. Brian Valoria, Jesus Salud, and the late Andy Gannigan. And Gannigan's calling him to come on, Tim. What do you think of that? This tough Hawaiian. What happened to Andy? He shouldn't be. He just said that. May happen to a good guy. There could be a third career in the making. Back in April, Ben was appointed to the State Boxing Commission. He's got ideas, he says, he hopes will revitalize the sport here in the islands. I've tried to uh, bring back you know, boxing because right now, you know, we're really, there's really no fight in Hawaii. We need to have a promoter try to recruit some people, rich people that want to promote. Time will tell. Ben Villafo, our Hawaii MVP this week. Jemai Webster, KITV4 Sports. Did Jemai break a sweat? I think he actually he, broke, he a sweat. He broke a sweat. I think I saw a sweat. If any of you have ideas <laughs> who we should feature as a Hawaii MVP, hit us up at KITV.com. Okay, Laura, 10 year boxing career for Ben Villaflor, age mm -hmm. 13 to 23. Take a guess 
at how many rounds he says he's fought. Okay, I heard career. I heard him say 75 fights. Yeah. 75 fights. He's got at least a couple of rounds. That one clip, he had five rounds. So remember, remember back in the day, championship fights were 15 rounds, not 12. Ooh, geez. Uh, that's 1,500. Oh, not that much. He, <laughs> he says he's counted. He's put in 500 rounds wow. of work as a professional. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. And, and, and in such a short period of time, too. Yep. So 23 years old. What a guy. All right, thanks a lot.